Before proceeding with the installation of your 9 gauge sensor, please read all safety documentation and manuals that were included in your shipment. Measure the diameter of the stem you plan to monitor, making sure the gauge selected is within the range of your size. Before going to the next step, you need to write down the gauge size and heater resistance value, which is found printed on the gauge cable. Select the smoothest part of the stem to be measured, making sure there are no leaves, large scars, or other irregularities. A few small branches and leaves might need to be removed. Make sure if anything is removed, healing of the plant has occurred before installing the gauge, preventing damage from the plant sap. Roughness and dead bark is removed by very lightly sanding with fine sandpaper. Keep sanding to a minimum. Thin bark species require little or no sanding at all, while thick bark, over 2 mm thick, may require more sanding. Sanding should never penetrate through the live green cambium layer. Clean the stem with a rag soaked with water and a bit of detergent to remove dust and grit. Let the stem dry a few minutes before the next step. Remove the natural oil bottle and switch the regular screw cap with the pump spray top provided. Spray the oil in two coats around the circumference of the tree, letting it dry a few minutes between coats before installation. There should only be enough spray to wet the surface. Store remaining oil for future installations. This process prevents the gauge from sticking to the plant. Before installing a gauge, squeeze a small amount of G4 silicone insulation compound onto the heater and enter insulation. This should be thoroughly rubbed until there is a very thin layer on the inside of the sensor. Wipe off any excess with a paper towel. This process will seal out moisture from penetrating inside of the sensor, prevent sensor thermocouple corrosion, and aid in the expansion and contraction of the heater and gauge. Wrap the gauge around the stem with a cable connector facing down. Make sure to open the gauge wide enough so the jacket slips around the stem. This must be done very carefully to prevent the gauge components from being dislocated or otherwise damaged. Tuck the leather inside the jacket, wrapping it completely around the stem. Close the Velcro straps tightly. Adjust the size of the installation by adding insulation wedges if necessary. Make sure the gauge is firmly in place and cannot slide or twist with the application of gentle force. Next, attach the sensor cable to the gauge connector, aligning the male terminals with the female socket. Pull the rubber boots aside and connect the cable. Wrap a small piece of electrical tape tightly around the cable junction, and then pull the boots over the tape. Secure the cable to the stem using nylon tie wraps, preventing the tug to the cable from affecting the gauge. Install the lower O-ring first, letting the cable hang through the gap in the installation. Install the upper O-ring. Apply some G4 to the outside of the O-rings to avoid the bubble shield from sticking. If there are any gaps between the stem and the upper O-ring, apply the adhesive putty in them as if you were using caulk. Install the bubble shield below the gauge and secure firmly using nylon tie wraps or tape. Install the second weather shield over the gauge. Position the shield covering the top portion of the bottom weather shield in the entire sensor. Secure firmly using tie wraps or tape above and below the sensor. Secure the top of the weather shield with tape leaving the bottom open for ventilation and reduce moisture buildup. This shield covering the, keeps the water out and prevents radiation from affecting the readings. You are now ready to install more sensors if needed. Please feel free to call Dynamax regarding this installation at 1-800-926-7000.